The Tesla Cybertruck is here and it is wild, as you obviously have already seen. But now I think it's time to take a deeper look and see how it stacks up from a price comparison to the most popular truck in the United States, the Ford F-150. Let's go. Elon set up the Cybertruck unveil as something that was going to be different looking. Check. Have crazy specs. Check. And be cheaper than the F-150. Well, let's see about that. We buy a lot of trucks here in the United States, and we have for a very long time. And the most popular one by far is the Ford F-Series. Now, the F-Series encompasses many different models, but let's just pick the most popular one and see how it actually stacks up price-wise. So let's just go here and see, oh my God, how many options are there? Well, since I don't know what the difference is between these, I'm gonna go to edmunds.com and just see what they have to say. Okay, so it looks like the Lariat option, which isn't the lowest, but isn't near the highest, is kind of the best value according to edmunds.com. So let's price it out. We need to just pick the Lariat model, then add the Super Crew Cab, which seats six to match what the Cybertruck has, choose the four x four option in the powertrain, and then we can find the price. Now on the Cybertruck side, there are three different options and to kind of be with what is probably gonna be the most popular one, I think we should stick with the dual motor option, which is a price of $49,900. Now you could choose different options, obviously, and as you saw on the Ford side, there are hundreds of choices with all kinds of different options you can add. On the Tesla side, it's just a lot simpler and, and, and more straightforward. But I wanted to pick two that were very similar, kind of middle of the road vehicles. That one from Ford was recommended by Edmunds, so it's not something I cherry picked to be better price-wise here. And on on the Tesla side, I picked the one that Elon reported is the most popular one in terms of the reservations that have already been made. So trying to be as fair as possible here, just picking apples to apples in terms of two trucks that likely will be head-to-head uh, -head when people are considering which one to buy. Now, when it comes to actually figuring out the cost of these, thankfully, Edmunds.com has been doing this for decades, and we can basically just take the figures that they've given us and plug them in. And if you're not familiar with the categories, we have depreciation, taxes and fees, insurance, maintenance, repairs, financing costs, and fuel. So when you're talking TCO, the true cost of ownership, those are the categories you're looking at. You're not really just looking at the initial price, although that does play a factor in the overall cost. So let's head over to the TCO page for the Tesla Cybertruck. Wait, what? How come? Where? Where's the... Come on, Edmunds. What is going on? Edmunds, get it together. Okay, fine, let's calculate it ourselves. And in order to do that, we need to make some assumptions because obviously these vehicles are not on the road yet and there isn't much data to really go off. But I wanna try to be as fair as possible again when comparing these two vehicles. First, when it comes to depreciation, what I did here was I took the percent of depreciation compared to the original sales price, the MSRP, and applied that to the Tesla car so that way it's essentially the same percentage drop over the five year period. I also did this for taxes and fees and for the financing costs. I took the insurance from the Ford and applied it directly, assuming they would be apples to apples here. Of course, a lot of what goes into insurance costs is based on your provider, based on your own situation. So it really is impossible to, to have a, a real number here without you getting a quote yourself. So that's why I just decided to copy it from one to the other, assuming that they'll be relatively similar in price. Now for maintenance, what I did, since Tesla doesn't actually require any maintenance, the thing that they're doing now is after two years, you're gonna come in and get an inspection, which runs about 200 bucks. And then if there's anything that needs to be fixed, often there is not, you'll then pay for that out of pocket. So essentially it's $0 of maintenance other than this $200 inspection. So that's what I put for maintenance costs. On the repair side, again, there's not really anything here other than tires. I listed tires at a thousand bucks. Who knows what the actual cost may be, but that seems kind of higher than your normal, but not crazy expensive versions of tires that you may get for a vehicle like this. Now let's talk about fuel because this is where things diverge pretty dramatically from one to the other. On the Edmund site, they use a 15,000 miles per year estimate for their fuel costs. So what I did was I started there, assuming you're gonna drive 15,000 miles per year. I used a miles per gallon for the Ford of 18 miles per gallon. And on the Tesla Cybertruck side, I used something called watt hours per mile. This is essentially how much energy or electricity does it take to go one mile. So very similar in concept to miles per gallon here. And for this, I used 500. Now that's a pretty high number. The Model X from Tesla gets around 450. 
50 based on the data I've seen. So I'm assuming this is gonna be more than that, but also a lot of the aerodynamic people out there posting videos or analysis of the show that it's gonna be really great. Elon is even tweeting that this could have some really tremendous aerodynamic properties, meaning that it's gonna be more fuel efficient than it may seem just from the size of the vehicle. So I'm trying to be conservative again, giving them a watt hours per mile of 500. Now to calculate the cost of gas, I chose two different locations, it's California and Texas. So California, I looked at the average gas price and I got this from gasbuddy.com and currently it is $3.82. So if you drive 15,000 miles per year, you get 18 miles per gallon and then it costs $3.82 per gallon to fill up. The annual cost in California of fueling your F-150 will be $3,183.33. Now in Texas, it's a bit cheaper. The average price of gas as of the time of this recording was $2.24. So that means doing that same math that the annual cost in Texas is gonna be $1,866.67. So already you can see that just depending on where you live, there's gonna be a big difference in the cost of owning these vehicles. So for electricity, it's kind of the same deal where in California, the price is vastly different than it is in Texas. And even beyond the prices I'm using, what you see are variability within local municipalities. So for example, in California, you can have time of use rating, which gives you an even cheaper rate to charge your car in this kind of super off peak zone. But what I wanted to do again was be conservative and try to be fair. And so in California, you're looking at 26 cents per kilowatt hour which multiplied times the 15,000 miles per year and the 500 watt hours per mile gives you an annual cost in California of $1,950. And then in Texas, where the average price of electricity is around nine cents a kilowatt hour, you're looking at $675 total for the year. All right, so we've got all our numbers calculated. Now it's time to add them up and see who wins. But before we do that, I want you to try and guess. I'm guessing a lot of you will pick the Cybertruck and you're probably gonna be right. But go ahead and head down to the comment section, leave a comment as to which one you think is gonna win and by how much. Then after the video plays here, come back and see if you were right. So adding it all up in California, what we have is a total for the Ford F-150 across five years, true cost of ownership of $72,459. The Tesla Cybertruck in California across five years, $53,379, a difference of $19,080. So that's a big, big difference, as you may have guessed. Let me know if you did. Now in Texas, it's a little bit different story where the true cost of ownership across five years for the Ford F-150 is $65,467, and the Tesla Cybertruck is $46,610, with a difference between those of $18,858. So very similar between California and Texas. Now again, I used 26 cents per kilowatt hour for the cost of electricity here in California. However, when I charge at home, which is where 90% of the time you would be charging your Cybertruck, I pay the same as the people in Texas do of nine cents a kilowatt hour. So again, the, the savings would be even greater. So overall, yeah, the Tesla Cybertruck is objectively cheaper to own and operate across five years but I don't know if that's really enough to make people switch. The design is wild, it's futuristic, it's definitely not for everyone. And despite people not really using their trucks as trucks, in fact, there's a lot of data out there showing that most people don't even tow anything at least once a year and barely use the bed, so trucks aren't necessarily bought for things like towing capacity unless you actually need them, in which case the Cybertruck probably isn't a good option anyways, considering charging, et cetera. Different video and different discussion, but I really don't know if cost of ownership is a strong enough argument for your Ford F-150 people that have had them for generations to switch, but it is encouraging, especially considering 250,000 people have already dropped a hundred bucks for a reservation. How many of those will actually convert into owners? I don't know. I am one that definitely will, and there are many others like me, but overall, I'm not really convinced that this is gonna make a big dent in the millions of trucks that are sold each year. It might eat some of the other market segments, but from a truck standpoint, I'm just, I'm not convinced yet that it's really gonna be the game changer. The next Tesla truck, however, probably will be. That's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, I am in a new location here. I do have a new studio. Things are getting still set up, so we'll try to have some different looks for you coming soon. Um, but other than that, let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you guys back here in the next one. 
hey, I hope you liked the video. And I hope that it enlightened you a little bit about maybe some of the other comments that people have been making about the cost of these things, because that's really what we like to do here on the show is look at the numbers and have them decide for us, not us form opinions and then go into it with that preconceived notion. Of course, we're human and that's always difficult to do. But if you'd like to learn more, dive deeper, engage with the Teslanomic community, consider joining us at patreon.com slash and I hope to see you there.